Hey guys, welcome to Awesome Toy Box with T Roy. How are you guys doing today? So today I just want to go over some stuff. As you know, we guys we are close to 200 subscribers. Well, not really close, but 45 r r roughly. Um, so when we get 200, of course, I'm gonna do another giveaway like I like I have been. It's again, it's gonna be you're gonna get uh, an out of box pop, and then you'll get one of the what's left of the damage pops that I've been giving away. At the same time, if you if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. You'll know what what your options can be. Um, they'll just, they're just totally random. Uh, you might get one that's in really good shape. You might get one that's, that's tore up. But with that being said, let's go over these out of box pops. So first off, we have Happy Still. Can't believe nobody snagged him up yet. Then we have Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. Followed by Shriek for you Marvel fans. The Flocked Crash Bandicoot. Love the flocking on him. Mad Moxie from Borderlands. Ares from uh, Wonder Woman. He's kind of a big pop. If you put him next to another one, I mean, like, he's huge. And then we have Bubba Fett. And lastly, we have the common sloth soda can. So those are your, those will be the options. All you gotta do is comment from on any of my um, videos since I've hit 100. Any video since I've hit 100, you just leave a comment, and you'll get entered to win uh, that once I hit 200. Now remember, at 250, I'm giving away the bingo flocked soda chase. Bingo Flocks OJ, so it's like. It is one of 500. <coughs> and here he is. There you go. So, in order to get. Entered in the chance to win this once I hit 250, which will probably be sometime I'd say well after the new year at, at, the, at the earliest. Um, just put hashtag on the way to 250. I know it's a long one, but it's easy, it makes it easier for me, for me to see it and everything. But hashtag on the way to 250 and there's your chance to win that. And there you go. Those are my, our next giveaways. Uh, I do have two other giveaways. Someone decided not to take one of the giveaways I gave before because they already had the pop. So they said that, you know what, pass it on to someone else. That was key tons of fun. Uh, make sure you go over their channel um, while you're over there. Make sure you tell them I sent you. Pickups this week. I want to show you that my pickups. The first pickup I have to show you is part of a thing. I said, you know, I'm very competitive if you haven't noticed. But I want to show you... Prince John, me and Sick Vic over there, uh, Tills Pops, he, he got some of the other Robin Hoods, and I'm telling you, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to get him to it first. If you look there really closely, you can see he does have damage. He actually has a lot of damage, but I got him for next to nothing. If you think about it, if you pay 50 bucks for an inbox pop that's damaged, and it goes up to $300, out of the box, that pop typically would still pull about $150. So, just be aware of that. Okay, my next thing I got, I got, went over to 181 Comics. If you have a chance, check them out. He does uh, auctions online, uh, a lot of slabs and stuff like that. Got a great little shop here in, uh, over there in uh, Benbrook, uh, part of Fort Worth. But I picked up Bam Bam. And if you have Bam Bam, you have to have Pebbles. So Pebbles and Bam Bam. He posted those on Facebook, and I was like, oh my gosh, great, you got more stuff I need. I've done a lot of trades with him. Um, I always, anytime I, he needs something, I try to hook him up if I have it, and he's been very good about doing reciprocating, which is like I said, you know, collectors help collectors. So while I was there, he had posted something else I want, I've been looking for for a while. And this completes my OG set. But I got Bebop and Rocksteady from the OG Turtle line. These were the last two I needed. That set is complete. So, pretty cool. And, if they were there, you would have seen right over here. Can you, can you see me on the screen? 
where there used to be pops, we're redoing some stuff, they would have been right over here. But when you see, we get done remodeling the room, um, doing some more shelves and stuff, you'll see these guys and you'll see them all their glory. Okay, and my last mail, my, my last bit of mail call, I had uh, a gentleman on Facebook, another veteran, by the way, it is close to Veterans Day, uh, it should be by the time this thing is posted, it should be Veterans Day, so all my other veterans out there, uh, thank you guys for your service, I'll never forget the people I served with, and hopefully you guys um, are doing good out there and keeping ahead strong, anybody ever needs to talk, hit me up. The first thing I got from, the, from him was Lagartha, I hope I said that right, from Vikings. She, her box is a little beat up, but you know, she's a Viking. Her box should be beat up. And these next two, I'm on the fence. I'm not sure if they'll be joining my collection or not. I mean, I'm, for now they are, but I don't know if they'll stay. Because they're, it's a really hard line to get, for one. But, first up we have the Howard Wallowitz. It's the Star Trek, where they're phasing. This is a Comic-Con 2013. Definitely a harder pop to find. And the next is Leonard Hostetter. Same, it's a, another Comic-Con 2013. These are both 1,008 pieces. Which is weird. I wonder why they, how they came up with that number. But anyways. One thing about him is on the bottom of him. I don't know if you can see it there. He has a little damage on his bottom. And I can tell you. If you're going to buy a pop that has damage. Especially one that's harder to find like this. The bottom is the best place to have it. Because well, I mean. Every, all the stickers you can still see it's authentic and everything. But literally. There's no way you're going to really display this where you're going to see that bottom piece. Not that if you're displaying it any kind of normal way anyways. So, there's that. And those are all my pickups for the week. I have pretty good, pretty good hole, I feel. Uh, some good grails. Um, I don't know, I think I need to just start doing like a grail Tuesday or something like that. And just do videos whenever I pick up grails on just certain days of the week, but... Until then, I'll just keep on doing like I am. Um, so, last thing today is I wanted to bring up my pop of the day. This pop right here, Sam from Trick or Treat. This is actually the third Sam from Trick or Treat I bought. I got swindled. Not once, but twice. The first time I bought him... I was lucky enough it was on eBay, so I just I, I did the return to get I got my money back no problem. The second time was on Macari, and the guy sat there and piddle parted and all this other stuff. And I I left messages on Macari saying, hey, you know this guy's doing some funny stuff, shipping everything was going went wrong with it. Finally got to me and it was another fake. That guy wouldn't help me. Um, I couldn't do it. I got basically got stiffed. But, because I posted online about it, somebody else who had an authentic one hooked me up at a really good price just because he saw that I'd gotten kind of ham hauled over. But, again, that's another instance of collectors helping collectors. So, that's our pop of the day. What do you guys think? I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it's kind of been kind of different because this is the first time, I don't know if you noticed, but my wife's actually behind the camera, so I can't see myself, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you go out there and watch, uh, watch some other videos. There's a lot out there. Uh, Tills Pops just hit 700 subscribers. They're going to be doing a live. I know it, the original got canceled, so um, hopefully we'll, we'll, they'll get another one up soon. So go over there. I'll watch their stuff. And um, coming up, as far as my channel goes, we will have an Outside the Box with Liz. If you saw our box battle, uh, we're going to be talking about some mystery boxes and some other things that are just kind of 
things I rant about and that she likes to try and keep me in check about. And we're also going to be doing a video starring my puppies. It's going to be our first music video. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be terrible. God awful. So you got to come in and see it because who and everybody loves a train wreck. But until then, guys, remember, collect yourself, collectors. You guys have a good day. So, um, I'm, I'm messing up. <laughs> Finally got to me, and it was another oh. fake. So. <laughs>